On my main channel, Nile Red, I refined some old jewelry and I was able to get this nice chunk of gold. However, in the end, I was left with a lot of waste that I had to deal with. In the main video, I already felt it was way too long to cover this whole process, but I've decided to include it here. In the gold refining process, all the metals in the jewelry that were not gold were dissolved using nitric acid. This turned them into their water-soluble salt forms, and here, the majority of it is probably copper nitrate. However, there is also some silver nitrate, as well as nitrates from other trace metals. All these other metals, along with the copper, really aren't worth recovering, but I was curious to see how much silver was in it. A common way to get the silver out is to just add some copper wire, which will convert all the silver nitrate back to silver metal. This method wouldn't work for me though, because some of the waste contained hydrochloric acid. This was made clear when I was combining all the waste together, and it started reacting with the silver nitrate. This caused a lot of it to crash out as silver chloride, which was all the white solid. It wasn't a huge issue though, and I just had to use a different method. With everything added, I poured in a bunch more hydrochloric acid, just to make sure that all the silver nitrate was converted to the silver chloride. Then I mixed this all around, and I let it sit there for a few hours. I then dumped off the liquid portion, and all the silver chloride at the bottom was transferred to a beaker. This was still mixed with copper salts as well as other metal salts, so I washed it several times with boiling hot water. After something like 5 washings, the water was pretty much colorless, and it was good to go. I filled this up again with more hot water, and then I slowly added concentrated sodium hydroxide. As it was added, it reacted with the silver chloride, and it converted it to black silver oxide. Both the chloride and the oxide are insoluble in water though, so this conversion isn't super efficient. I tried mixing it around and breaking up some of the white chunks that were still there, but it didn't work that well. In the end though, this didn't turn out to be much of an issue. I tested the pH and saw that it was strongly basic, and I just kept stirring it like this for a while. Then, when I kind of randomly thought that it was decent enough, I turned up the heating and started adding glucose to it. The glucose reacted with the sodium hydroxide to make beta-gluconolactone, which then reacted with the silver oxide and reduced it back to silver metal. It was really hard to tell when the reaction was done here, and the dark color caused by the sugar really didn't help. I could tell that it was working though, because the solid stuff seemed to be getting denser and having a stronger tendency to sink to the bottom. There might be other reasons why this happened, but it's probably mostly because silver metal is about 50% denser than the oxide. When it looked like it was pretty much done here, I dumped off all the liquid. Then I added some more fresh sodium hydroxide solution, along with some glucose. I stirred this for another 10 minutes or so, and at this point, I felt that it was probably done. The stuff at the bottom should all be silver now, but it's mixed with a bunch of base and sugar. It was surprisingly hard to get rid of, and I think I did at least something like 10 washings. It did eventually look clean though, so I put it back on my hot plate and cranked up the heat, and I boiled off the water. I then dumped all the powder into a crucible along with some borax, and I started heating it with my torch. And at the same time, I preheated my graphite mold. Then, when the silver was nice and hot, I poured it into one of the slots. I was really hoping that it would at least fill the whole thing, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough silver. I took it out, dropped it in some water to cool it, and this was the final result. It was a nice small piece of silver, and it weighed about 9.4 grams. At close to 50 cents a gram US, this was less than $5 worth, or about $6 Canadian. So not exactly too much to be super excited about here. I was a bit concerned about the purity of this silver, but like I said in the main video, I had it tested, and it was found to be 100%. This wasn't the end of it though, because I still had this whole bucket of acid to deal with. The major thing it had was copper salts, as well as hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. The first thing that I wanted to do was reduce the volume a bit, so I let it sit out for several days, just to evaporate. About a week later it had lost quite a bit, but it was extremely slow. So instead, I poured as much as I could into a beaker, and I cranked up the heat. I also set up a fan off screen to blow over the top of it and to speed things up. Then I kept occasionally topping it off with more liquid from the container until it was eventually all added. As more and more water was driven off, it got thicker and thicker and eventually it looked like there was pretty much no water left. So I took it off the hot plate and I poured everything onto a tray. 
One thing that I should mention about this whole process though, is that it's really dangerous and a lot of acid vapor is released. I did this in a fume hood so it was fine, but I really don't recommend doing it. But anyway, as it cooled, the salt started crystallizing and it all slowly hardened. To prevent it from getting completely stuck to the tray, I just occasionally poked around at it. At this point, I was pretty much done, but I wanted to try something. I started shooting at it with my torch, and you can see the nice green flames that were being caused by the copper salts. It also let off a lot of nitrogen dioxide gas, which told me that this was mostly just copper nitrate. Initially, I wanted to see if I could break it all down into black copper oxide, but it just wasn't very efficient to do it with a blowtorch. If I did degrade it all though, I could dissolve it in sulfuric acid to make copper sulfate and then reduce it back to copper metal using vitamin C. I could have probably also just done electrolysis on the original copper waste, but in the end, I felt like this was just way too much work. The amount of copper that I could at most be recovering here would probably only be a couple dollars worth. So instead, when I was done playing around with it, I just let it cool and I dumped it all into a bag. I then put it in my inorganic waste drawer and it was a problem for future me to deal with. The last things to get rid of were the solutions that I knocked the gold out of. Unfortunately though, I forgot to film this process, but it honestly wasn't too interesting anyway. They were mostly just water along with some leftover acid and potassium metabisulfite. I just quickly neutralized the acid using leftover sodium hydroxide solution and then I added a small amount of bleach to kill the metabisulfite. I then poured all of that down the drain with a large amount of excess water. But anyway, that's about it. I hope you liked this little supplement to the main channel and in the future, I might post some other ones like this. As usual, a big thanks goes out to all my supporters on Patreon. Everyone who supports me can see my videos at least 24 hours before I post them to YouTube. Also, everyone on Patreon can directly message me, and if you support me with $5 or more, you'll get your name at the end like you see here.